I'm just asking what you banned me. No, I wasn't banned a trespass or anything. I ended up just, they ended up pointing to the box and they were like, oh, you can just drop it in the drop box. And I was like, like, I even looked around at the other people that were here listening for like the whole thing for an hour yeah. and they were all just like, really? Yeah. Come on now. But like, do you have to actually put on a mask? I'm good though. That was kind of like one of the things they like argued about too last week. I really don't want to. They tried to bring up like H. HR 3-48 or 3.48, which was set in place on the 19th of 2021 in January. Uh, but there's nothing right now, like no federal regulations right now that would require me to. So I don't know as far as how SSA does things. I got you. Right, as far as their regulations, but the regulations that we were told through all the SSA offices in the country is that everyone still wears a mask, including I myself. I got you. Okay. Um, I, I would just ask to see like some sort of legislation that yeah. says it because they I, I noticed that they put the new signs up on the door yeah. uh they have them now hanging here that say like they want you to wear a mask but there's no like i don't see any federal regulations listed on there or any like type of law that's all okay. i'm a big stickler on like policy when yeah, when when policy and rules and, and law kind of yeah. you know what i mean law yeah. trumps that so I got you. But yeah, I'm not trying to be a dickhead or nothing, bro. Right, you know what I mean? I appreciate you. You've been really cool. I don't want to get in trouble. I feel you. Know You've been really so. cool, too, so I appreciate you. How's everybody doing out there? Uh, the first one I had set up was unlisted. It was not set as public, so you guys couldn't get in. But I am out here at the Social Security Administration, and I was out here about a week, week and a half ago to drop off a piece of paper. It was like a huge ordeal about them wanting me to wear a mask. And then they said that I couldn't like, I couldn't just come in and drop off the paper. I had to have an appointment or this or that. Uh, it says online, you can just drop it off. It says you can set an appointment and come in and sit down with somebody to help fill it out. You can do it yourself and drop it off or you can do it yourself and mail it. I believe there might actually be an online option as well. Either way, I came out just to drop it off. They threw a big fit, called Anne Arundel County Police out here. Anne Arundel County Police couldn't do anything because this is a federal building. So they called DHS out here. They gave me an envelope to mail it. Um, I declined. So then after almost like an hour long, maybe an hour and 20 minute long debacle, they go, oh, well, you can just drop it in the Dropbox right here. And I was so confused because that's literally what I had asked to do the entire time. I was like, yeah, I just need to drop this off. I'm not even trying to stay in the building. I'm not here for hanging out. I didn't have my cameras. I wasn't here on an audit. I was here on some personal business. I needed to change the name on my thing so I could change the name on my license slash ID card. But yeah, I had to drop off that documentation. This guy has been really cool. He was not the security officer that was out here last time. This guy has been super cool since the moment I walked in here. Uh, he's been very informative on the process, how I get help and things like that. He's been very cool, so we won't be meaning to him. He's been very nice. It was the guy last week that was kind of a stickler and a butthead. Robert, Lou, Kiva, how y'all doing? Dana, Undoctrine, Louie, Michigan in the house. What up, baby? Secret agent, man. Eric, Donnie, how y'all doing? Low Don, what up? That's what I thought. I thought Brandon said COVID was over. I'm confused too. I don't know. Everything I looked up said that there's no current regulations in place that require me to wear one. How you doing, Miss Gloria? I appreciate your kind words all the time. Unabomb.com. See if I can zoom out a little bit. But yeah, so now I'm just back today to check on the progress of that document that I dropped off. So I did get a number so I can uh, so I can go to the window and ask on that. But here, let's go show you guys the signs they put up. They put up these new, uh, so, hey, you know, brother, sorry, I was just coming out to get a picture of these signs real quick. So they put up these new uh, attention visitor signs and things like this um, after the last time I was out here. But yeah, they tried everything, in the, you know what I mean? 
they were out here and she, she tried to call the police and say that I couldn't film because they had a sign. Um, it was just a lot. The lady's name was Miss Susan. I did not get her last name, but her first name was Miss Susan. But yeah, she she brought up a lot of signs that they had, but as the police told her that the signs are not law and that it doesn't, uh, when there's a conflict of policy or rules or with the law, the law obviously trumps that. Hey, Miss Linda, this is a different place. This is the Social Security Administration. The other one was the Department of Human Services. The security guard here has been nothing but cool since I walked in the door. This guy's been very nice. He's been super cool. But yeah, no, when I was out here last week, there was a gentleman, his name was Officer Brown. He was a security officer out here last week. And the lady's name was Miss Susan, and they were kind of buttheads. Literally, after an hour of arguing to drop off a piece of paper, they went into the box on the wall, so I dropped it off. This was the sign that they had last week about like cell phones and photography and videography in here. Four one five. Four one five. Mm -hmm. What was that? Oh, would they skip four one four? I don't know what you need to do. We go out of order sometimes. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Desk nine. It tells me desk nine. Uh, my ID is expired, but it's temporary on my phone. They must have called while I was outside for a moment. What's going on, brother? So I was actually here last week, and um, I had dropped off a document to have my name changed on my social security card. That way I could then have it changed on my ID card. I was just trying to check on the progress of that because it's a very time-sensitive issue. Do you have your master? I do not. It's, in, it's invisible, it's a new technology. It's called uh, facial hair. Mm -hmm. Would you mind having a seat and someone to be with you shortly? Well, didn't you guys call me up to this desk? Um, it was an accident. I wasn't yet prepared to do my accident. I got gotcha. you, okay. It was by accident, all right. I'll go sit back down. But apparently he called me up there by accident. I guess I'll go sit back down now. Not sure what all that was about. I didn't even point the camera at him. I pointed the camera at the wall. Jeez. Jeez Louise. All right, we'll wait again. I hate that like this camera doesn't uh the phone doesn't stabilize the same way my GoPro does so you can see like the little hand shapes. See, I knew I didn't hear them call me over the loudspeaker. Maybe they did, and I just didn't hear it. They could have. That 
was very weird though. It's a very small lobby. That is weird. Connect to the SSA's Wi Fi or something. I had to turn the Wi Fi off on my phone. It stopped doing that. That was very weird. been very nice this time besides that whole calling me out by accident thing they've been very nice no one's freaked out on me or called the police or yelled at me or anything I mean, it was a completely different uh, experience last week now good thing is I actually did pull my phone out and record some of that interaction so I do have some of it I don't have all of it it's not your typical audit but I will go home and edit it up and post it on there so you guys can see Miss Susan in all her glory. They were just trying to say like the Social Security Administration still requires you to wear one. And I'm like, well, they're not their own governing body. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was connected to it. That's funny though. Using their own Wi-Fi to harass them. I love it. You guys is funny. What does that say? Non-discrimination policy. I think some people might need to read this. Uh physical or mental disability or impairment section. A few of y'all trolls watching the channel might need to watch that section. Read up on that. So we good on the uh, video ticket part. Yeah. I had to read up on some stuff. On I got you. You good on that? But this yep. man saying, I got some memorandums in here. But I just want to do a little bit more. Okay. I got you. I appreciate you doing your due diligence. He's cool, man. I respect him. He's actually doing it. In, so it be a Sorry. He's actually doing his like research and stuff before just shouting at people and being like, you can't do this, you can't do that. He hasn't said one word to me like that. He actually went and did his research. He thought to himself, okay, I don't know enough about this situation to yell at this kid. And he went and did his research and then came back and made an educated decision. That is how people are supposed to act. This right here is like the gold standard of security guards. This man needs like 12,000 gold medals. A plus, plus, plus. If everyone acted like him, the world would be a much better place. He didn't understand something, so he went and did his research instead of just like talking out the side of his neck. Literally, yes. Thank you, Gravit. Perfect employee, like model employee right here. I'm gonna find out what security company this man works for and give him a gold star. I file enough complaints. It's nice to file compliments once in a while on somebody. It's nice to have a turn of, turn of pace. It's nice to be able to have a normal conversation with someone, be treated human to human. Yeah, dude, he's awesome. What's up, Miss Gloria, how you doing? I just wanted to say that I appreciate you. 
most people that don't understand a situation just like freak out and start screaming and yelling you went and did your research and like came back and made an educated decision most people don't do that if everyone acted the way you did the world would be a hell of a lot better place man thank you no problem thank you if this is max famous i know the crossroads i got you I'm a big stick one. The only place I wear it at is the doctor's office just because that's a private business. They can still kind of like, okay, we're not going to provide you with the help. You know what I mean? They would say go to the hospital if you really need it. And then, but that was all. Yeah, this man has been A++. plus plus. What's up, DG1? How you doing? Grab it. How's everybody doing? Rumble and Humble, Strider, Blood Wolf Guy. I appreciate y'all. Mike OK, K Pro. Demandoid, Yellowbomb.com, CJ Audits. I appreciate y'all. Frank, Bill P. Robert Wolf, how y'all doing? But yeah, no, yeah, it's it's been a complete 180 experience from what I had out here last week. They've been very nice. They did call me up by accident. So when I went up there, he said he called me up by accident. So I'm waiting. What's up? So I'm gonna try to be absolutely. If it doesn't work, then we have to go to the car. I got you. You wear a mask for a few minutes to get done what you need to get done and call it good. I don't only because this is th this is what I do. You know, I stand up for people's rights. If I we understand. if we like bend down on one thing, we're, right. we're so one. I can't bend down either, so I'll have to call them. Yeah. I got you. Okay. I got you. I appreciate you for you know I mean being very de-escalatory in your approach. Yes, sir. Yeah, this guy's very cool. I don't agree with the mask thing, but. He is very cool. Um, Marcus, you can find out in my live video at the police station why I am changing my last name. It's already been changed. It was changed way back in like March when I filed the paperwork, technically. I had to wait till May to get confirmation, but yeah, now. I have never had the same last name as either one of my parents, so I changed it. But it's our right as citizens to challenge the government on unlawful policies and procedures. Our government is set up for us to challenge things like this. They are going to have uh, DHS police come out here. DHS police is going to come out here. Christian Bill, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Brother Papa, CRA Audits, Stephen Mims. What up, Audit Recon? <coughs> Drop of Blood, Rusty Fryman, how y'all doing? Am I correct in saying that name change means everything you ever had had to be changed? Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking. I'm not sure how you're asking it. Do you mean like what? Like my birth certificate, my driver's license, my this, my that? Uh, your driver's license slash ID will need to be changed. If you have a passport, that will need to be changed as well. But uh, your birth certificate will not be changed because you were born as that person. So. Your birth certificate and your certificate of live birth, whichever your state uses, will stay the same. Yeah, so there's that. Yeah, I think your birth certificate stays the same, but everything else comes out. Uh, oh, thank you, brother. Thank you, Christian. Appreciate you, my guy. 
But yeah, everything else, you will get changed, like your ID, your passport, um, your social security card itself actually gets changed too. Sweden in the house. Uh, Christian, would it help for Swedish people if I added subtitles in like a different language? Would it help those that maybe don't understand English as well uh, to be able to watch the video? If so, what language do you recommend? I think I have Dutch on my last one. Oh, y'all to bomb.com. Stone gone. What's up, buddy? Appreciate y'all. But yeah, I never had the same last name. Uh, oh, that's dope. English very well. Sweet. Okay, hell yeah, that's dope. I'm going to travel myself out there one day. Check out the Swedish countryside. I do have subtitles in English. You just got to click on the, uh, it, I don't think it's on the live. I don't think it's on like the live uh, video right now, but when it gets processed by YouTube, it will add English ones automatically. But yeah, I've added subtitles in a couple different languages as well, so everybody can check them out. So we can all check them out. I did uh, Spanish, Japanese, Chinese, German, French, Dutch, and I thought there was one more that I did. But yeah, I tried to get everybody. You know the general like top five or seven languages that way everybody could come kind of check it out yeah yeah they don't they don't do captions on the live i don't think or at least i haven't figured out how to set that up i just figured out how to get my editing software to do a captions transcript for me so I can upload it and then have it auto translated into other languages. Uh, YouTube will auto translate, but only if you add your own file of the captions. YouTube won't auto translate their own auto captions, which sounds very weird. But if they do the captions, they won't translate it. If I upload it, they'll translate it into whatever language I want. There's like, I don't know, 107 on there to choose from. From Swahili to Zulu. But if they do it themselves, God forbid, they don't understand the language, so they can't put it in a different one. It's very confusing, but that's YouTube for you. Uh, Bill, I do not agree. I actually um, appreciate learning different languages so you can communicate with everybody. It goes a long way to show a little bit of respect when you, you know, try to communicate with someone and what might be their uh, their main language or their own language. I'm waiting for service, you asshole. No, you go, Bill P. You go, brother. What's his name? Was Salmon? Oh, that oh, dude's so funny. Like, what yeah, while this might be like a live audit, I'm also here for some service, oh, buddy. So that's why I'm just sitting here in the lobby. I know it's very small and there's not much to see, but that's why I'm still here. I know, he loves it, bro. He low-key loves watching my videos and commenting on it. There's like 15 of them. Oh, shit. Christian, appreciate you, brother. I didn't see you did a second one. My man. You the bomb.com, buddy. I appreciate y'all. That's cool that my, uh, my videos are reaching out to other countries. It's very nice. It's very cool. At least I think it is. It just sounds weird to me. You you follow something that you don't like or don't enjoy, but then you question my mental stability, huh? 
If I don't like something, I change the channel. Turn the radio station. Hit the next button. <laughs> My man. Thank you, Christian. Appreciate you, brother. Challenge, Miss Gloria. Hit that like button. Smash that like button, squad. I believe last week it was DHS Officer Summers that came out here. I know, he was so cool, man. He wanted to be a superhero when he grew up. He was a cool little kid. I hope that young man keeps his sense of joy. <laughs> He's a very nice young man. I'm also trying to like stay up here in the corner because back there are the windows where everybody gets help. I'm not trying to go like sit back there so you hear people's stuff. I'm trying to stay up here in this front little room. That's why I'm kind of walking around the same three areas. I don't want to go, you know, put anybody's stuff on blast. I don't need to. But yeah, they sent out, um, Anne Arundel County sent out Sergeant Hill, or I guess he's Corporal Hill. He was the acting sergeant the one day I had him called out to a different issue. Um, he was cool. He was fine. And then they also had DHS Officer Summers, who again, is very like respectful and very cool. The only people who were like ignorant was Miss Susan. The security guard last time really wasn't even that big of a dickhead. It was just Miss Susan. If you say so, buddy, I guess so. Usually I end up having to like file complaints on everybody as like a big ass thing. So it's nice to be able to like get someone a compliment and be able to, you know, change a pace for once in a while. Yeah. It's nice, man. <laughs> Normally everybody's just such buttheads. A lot of people, yeah. That's cool. You ever run across any of mine? I'm sorry? You ever run across any of mine? I might have. Yeah. Uh, Voice sounds familiar. Yeah, this my this my main area. I talk a lot too, so. Right. <laughs> now, I'd be a lot of guys from um, California. Yeah, yeah. A lot of guys from California. Yeah. I watched that dude, uh, Bay Area Transparency. He's a yeah, big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very big. He's a good he's a good like indicator of how to stay professional as well. I need to I need to also take notes. I myself uh, wear my heart on my sleeve, so sometimes I get a little caught up in the moment and get too emotional as well. So I got I got some working to do, you know what I mean? But I'm learning every day. Oh yeah, BAT is awesome. I love watching his videos, man. His stuff is great. He's definitely like the gold standard on how to stay calm and like professional in situations. Denver Metro too, yes, absolutely. His is nice. Yeah, that was actually the first person I ever saw was Long Island Audits. He came down here to the uh, the post office in Eastport, and that was the first time I had ever saw him. I was like, oh man, this is right here in my own little town. And then yeah, I did see the Denver Metro one where they. Uh, the dude like threw the water bottle. He was freaking out. 
I did get the whole car thing worked out, thank God, finally. All right, so they do have Sergeant Hill or Corporal Hill. I don't know if he's acting Sergeant today or not, but my man is back. He's very cool. So we're not going to give him a hard time either. But I did go home and do the research, and I didn't see anything as far as, like, legislation. Like I said, there was the... There was the HR 3.48 that went into effect on January 19th of 2021, but I did not see anything that is currently in place. So we'll find out. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. What's happened before? What's up, Karen? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? How you doing? So I'm They actually, they called, cool? yeah, that's fine. They called me up to the window and everything, and then they were like, oh, sorry, it was by accident. You got to go sit back down. What's number are you supposed to do? Uh, 414, D414. Okay. So it's like right there around the corner. You just want to know what the status of that is. Yeah, it's one of the status of the thing I dropped off. Sergeant Hill, what's up, brother? It's corporal today. That's what I was saying. I didn't know he was acting today. Yeah, I was. Uh, I got I'm you. Acting, sorry. Man. What's up, man? How you doing, brother? How's it going? It's going good. I was just telling you. Calm, that. You calm today? Yeah, no, okay. good. I was just telling them. I was good, saying man. last week you were actually very cool uh, and de-escalating and stuff. So I wasn't going to try to be a butthead to you at all. Yeah, today, you've been very nice and helpful the last couple of times. I went home and did some research. Um, I did see there was. It's called HR three point four eight was put into place on January nineteenth of twenty twenty one. Right. Um, regarding mass and like public facilities, transportation hubs and stuff. But everything that I've read uh, says that that is not like currently in place. There's no. It, it, it's it's up, up to individual sectors, agencies, agencies, and stuff like that. I got you. Okay, that's that's why. And like the agent said last week, this is the last holdout. Yeah. For so security. Did you like you file this or like mail it? No. it was, yeah. Up dropping he it did off drop, the, the, drop yeah. it in the box last time. Okay. He, this guy's actually been very okay. like, this is yeah. so what I've been here is like a 180 of last week. He's been very nice, helpful, cordial, everything. I tried okay. to explain to him that it was like a whole debacle, and then I ended up just being able to drop it off, which I wanted to do the whole time anyway. Yeah, and I explained was, to him. Yep. I explained to him that policy. We don't enforce policy. Policy. Yep. That's what I was saying. And, and, and as you know, I'm like Corporal a, Hill with the Animal Mechanical Society number 2151. Thanks, sir. So, FPS is on their way out here. It's just going to take a minute. I got you. Right. Is it the feds? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think he just called her for me. Okay. And there's no update, so it sounds like they haven't got to it yet. I got you. Um, I feel like I should maybe find that out myself, though. Well, you know what I mean? That's the thing. They're not um, going to speak to you without a mask. No, but that's, that's kind of the thing. That's, that's like where I challenge that. They don't have the right to refuse me service. I have the right to the same services that everyone else has, and just because they have a policy or like a rule or procedure when when law and procedure have like a, a headbutting thing the law trumps that and the law requires i got you that's all you that you're not you can't see someone at a window without a mask i got that's you that's SSA policy they're not going to see you they're not going to talk to you without that okay right. i'm just gonna i just, I just want to document all of that for my my own purposes then i just want to make sure that's all I got you. Because the, the, ultimately the law compels them to give me service. And by discriminating against me, they'd be in violation of 18 U.S. 241. They tell you how long it's supposed to take? No, they called me up there and like, he started to help me. I explained, this is what I'm here for. This one, hey, do you have a mask? And I said, hey, listen, I didn't even have the camera on him. I had the camera pointed at the wall. This is what I'm here for, da, da, da. Oh, uh, you're going to have to sit back down. Well, didn't you call me? Oh, no, that was by accident. And then just, like, shut the thing in my face. And it's like, I'm literally sitting right here. You can't look at the thing and just say, okay. Yeah. I had to put my social security number in on the computer so they know who I am by this number. Yeah, when you dropped it off a week or two ago, whatever it was, did they tell you, like, what the turnaround time was supposed to be? No, that's why I was just coming to check. I ultimately have to have that process before I go over to the MVA to have my last name changed on my ID slash license. Okay. So I can't do that until this. So... They were right here on the same the street, too. I was just trying forever. They do. I just finally got my stuff back from the, uh, it's weird. It is the 
Federal Department of State Authentication Services. I know it sounds weird that it's a Federal Department of State, but I had to send my birth certificates and stuff off of them, and it took like five weeks, and I finally just got it back today. So it's been a long process. They do take quite a while. They say three, it comes back in about five. Sounds good. Sounds good. I mean, we're still about to the first. But yeah, no, I just middleman. I tried. No, you're good. You're good. I appreciate you. I just need the I just need the progress for that so I can go and do what's right across the street at the NBA. Then. Yeah. Are they still making people do appointments and stuff, or is it? Yeah. 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 So I can't just go over there and like see real quick if it's been processed and you know. No. So in order to set that thing up, I have to have three different things. I have to have the thing from the state saying they accepted the name change. I have to have the thing from them saying they changed it on the SS card, and then I have to have some, like, SR form, whatever, da-da-da. Okay. Might as well get your passport done while you're yep. at the same time. I don't even have one, so I'm getting it right at the same time. Yeah, yeah. You might, yeah I already contacted, might, the, yeah, yeah, I contacted the post office points. about it. Yeah. It was like, yep. That's why I waited and didn't get one, because I knew that the last name was going to change, and I was like, man, it's going to be a process trying to get that changed on that, too. Yeah, and... and they, yeah, that, that takes months yeah. to get back. Yeah. Because they're like, we'll mail it to you. Oh, we'll just send it. You can't yeah, come pick it up when it's ready. Yeah. No. They, they, mailed, me, they mailed me my very first one. They sent yeah. me somebody else's. Oh, my gosh. Fortunately, the person wasn't too far away. So they knew, okay. Yeah, we, we, were, we were actually both within the same state, within the same county. Well, that's pretty cool. So that, that worked out nice, because both of us went running down to... <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. We yeah, need that. We, we went running down to City Hall. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure the president on that. Where's mine? And the other guy's like, uh, this isn't me. Yeah. I opened it up, I'm like, well, that's not me. <laughs> oh, they sent you his. I got you. Yeah. They switched them. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah. When, when they put them in the mail, them out. I that, thought that they just sent him them. yours. Yeah. That's funny. No, no. They, they switched they, them. Yeah, they switched them. I got his. We, we were hoping it would just be, two, instead of like three, four, because, you know, that, yeah. can, that can snowball into. Yeah. Hopefully it was just you two or only the yeah. Yeah. Only two that got switched, because I can. Then having to find out where yours went. Yeah, mine could have ended up in California for all I knew. Yeah. I know, it's crazy. So I figured I would just try to get all this done. So ultimately, the birth certificate thing, I did the first time. And I met uh, Philistine, the guy from the, the mall with you the one day, um, over at the health department over there. And it was like a huge thing. Now, that ended up being prolonged by like two weeks, me getting the birth certificate. So when I sent my documents out to this federal department of state authentication so we're um they were like oh we stopped accepting it from this department 12 days ago and i was like wow i would have sent this out four weeks ago had it you know what i mean yeah so then i had to do it all over again and wait another five weeks and go down to the secretary of state and do that whole thingy appreciate y'all christian you to bomb.com thank you brother yeah, no, it, it has just been a complete. Yeah, we told you that you're being always visually yes, recorded. Yes, yeah. Right. I can't. We say it so much. I, I sometimes it runs into you up here in your sleep now. Yeah, yeah, here in my sleep. I can never remember if I actually said it sometimes. <laughs> so, so I sometimes when I see it, I'll hear myself when I rewatch some of this stuff. Yeah. Say it like yeah. six times. I'm like, that's it. Wow. Oh, damn. <laughs> just making sure. No, you're good. Um, you guys have had cameras for a while. I know Howard County just got them a couple months ago. I think they just got like online three weeks ago. Uh, so the other day, like. My buddy went out with me and asked him if he could come film, and he ended up sitting like on the side while I was talking to the police. And he heard one of them say, how, how, how are you turning this on? Is it on? They like didn't even know if it was on or like running or not. And I'm like, man, that's probably a, a hassle, training an entire department on how to make sure they're on, oh, make yeah. sure you acknowledge that they're on, turn them off, document. DC? No, no, Baltimore. But that's cool, though. I feel like everywhere is slowly getting there. Yeah, it's a slow process. Yeah. And, uh, Soon, everywhere we go, we'll be on, on camera. On the traffic stops, it was easy because I worked with a guy that was up that was reporting back in the early 2000s and okay. 90s. So he always. Yeah, so it, it, it flowed very nicely for that part. That's why. Right. Remembering when I got out of the car to like, come talk to you about something. Go, go here for this. Oh, wait. I got to remember to say this real quick. Yeah. I know, I keep forgetting to like always check my chat. People are always talking to me, and then I get caught up. Yeah, no, y'all the bond.com. I appreciate you, Christian and Miss Gloria. Ryan. K Pro grabbing. Thought I wasn't looking for a while.
Kind of one of the main reasons why I want to go to the window and see for myself is because then if they don't have the document in the system at all, it means they just took it out of there and they threw it away. So that's kind of what I want to document as well and make sure that they make sure they do. Oh, y'all got a water fountain here anywhere? You got a water fountain here? Anyway? It actually spits out warm water. Does it? Yeah. I might, I might even take some warm water at the moment. How warm is it? Um, I have a for myself. Yeah. I start getting that like acid reflux from my medicine. I need something to wash that down. But it might be. Oh, appreciate it might you. Right now. It's like right there. Just to let you know. All right. The building is closing. So we might have to step outside. I got you. Okay. At four, right? Yeah. It's four yeah. Or seven, so we're going to step oh outside. damn. I got you. Then yes, I will step outside. So unfortunately, guys, the building is closing. I was refused service today. As you see, my number was called. Thank you. I appreciate you being very nice today and cordial. I'm sure that. Not being a butthead about anything. But it is 4:07, and the business day is over. So we now must leave the leave the building. Sorry, I don't want to block y'all right there either. I guess I is the if the dude's still coming out here, I guess I'll wait to talk to him. Okay. Alright. Appreciate you guys. Alright, no problem. Have yourself a good one. You too, thank you. I just wanted to see like any like documentation or legislation he had, that's all. That's the uh Hard thing. Yeah. yeah, is get like provide. I know. I would. That, it took me like a week to do the research at home because I'm like, yeah. He said it was something or something, but I couldn't find anything. So. But as far as the your your, your stuff that you were doing here. Well, as, as far as face mask. Face mask. Yeah. Gotcha. As far as like legislation on the face mask, gotcha. I haven't been able to find anything that says like they can require it by law. Right. Right. All right. Let me put these signs in real quick. I got you. Do that. Anything, I'll wait for the bro. My man, probably Officer Summers again. But yeah, so ultimately, uh, that is the end of the business day. I can't just like sit in the lobby. That's not allowed. That would be trespassing. Maryland 6 409 says you can sit, or under Maryland 6 409, I could ultimately sit in the lobby all day during the business day. But when the business day is over, they have the right to ask me to leave and then I have to leave. If I don't, then I can be arrested for trespassing. So that's how that would work because the business day is over. If it were not four o'clock, they would not be able to ask me to leave. The law is very like uh, explicit in how it describes that. If you don't have any legal or lawful business, if it's after business hours, or if you created a disturbance, those are the ways they can ask you to leave. And it was after business hours, so there it goes. But yeah, ultimately I got a number. I went all the way up to the window and then I was told that, oh, we accidentally hit this number, called you up here by accident. Um, yeah, so go sit back down. And then they just refused service to me and never helped me. So it looks like I'll be back tomorrow to do the same thing. What's crazy is I haven't spoken to any officers about any like documentation or legislation yet. So if I were to leave at this moment, technically I would just be coming back tomorrow, still under the same impression that there's no documentation saying they can't or saying that I have to wear a mask. I don't know. It's just crazy, that's how they act. No, I wasn't trespassed. If I stayed inside, then they would be able to trespass me. It's the end of the day. The building closes at four o'clock. They let me stay inside till 4.07, and they even let me grab a drink out of the water fountain that he said was warm, and it was actually very cold. I just don't think he wanted me to get a sip of the water, which is kind of ignorant, but. Yeah, that's what I said, I don't need a mask. They haven't, they haven't provided me any legislation that says I have to actually wear the mask. So that's why I kind of sat out here and 
challenged them on it. He came, he asked me nicely. He was like, look, can you just wear it for a few minutes? And like, I feel bad when people ask nicely and they're not trying to be dickheads, but at the same time, like I have to make a stand somewhere, you know? I have to make a stand somewhere. If we give on this and we, we concede on this and give in, where won't we give in as citizens, you know? It just sucks. It sucks that I'm denied service, but at the same time, like, everybody was actually respectful and not, like, dickheads. I don't know why he lied about the water being warm, but other than that, like, none of the police officers, the security guard never was, like, disrespectful, rude, anything. And that's how it's supposed to be. When people aren't dis- like, you, you can stand your ground and make a point without being disrespectful. They can say, hey, listen, this is our policy and this is our rule or whatever and not do it in a disrespectful way. Like, I get that that's what your job requires you to do. Do I think it's right? No. But do I understand that that's what your job requires you to do? Absolutely. It's doing it like a dickhead that I don't agree with. And this guy was very nice, very cordial, very cool. No, you're right. Being nice doesn't mean he's right. But by being nice and not being a dickhead means that I, in turn, and then also not a dickhead and am nice back to him. When they, like, show you respect or treat you with respect while trying to enforce rules or policy on you, you give respect back to them. But when I go places and people just treat me like shit when I walk in the door, yeah, I treat them like shit right back. They want to disrespect me and be condescending and ignorant, I do the same thing. This guy was very nice. Today was not that type of situation. I don't think anybody's coming out here. I'm saying right now, nobody's coming out here. He would have came back outside if somebody was actually coming out here. There's no federal police officer coming here. Fuck bullshit. There's literally nobody coming here. I'm not going to stand here and waste my time any longer. But yeah, so. Social Security literally called me up to the window as y'all saw my number on the screen up there. He obviously had my stuff pulled up on his thing. I had to put my Social Security number in to get this number. So they obviously had all of it right there. And he could have literally just told me the progress of the application right there. What it is, is they didn't, they didn't put it in. They didn't process the application. Miss Susan's mad because she was wrong last week when I was out here. And when I put it in the drop box, I'm telling you, they threw that shit away. I know they did because they're assholes. So now I'm going to prove it. I'm literally going to prove that Susan and her little lackeys threw my documentation away and threw away a federal name change documentation. It's not like just some like little piece of paper I wrote up myself. That was their form. That's a federal form. It's just crazy. But yeah. Alrighty. Well, there we have it, squad. That's how they treat you out here at the Social Security Administration. Yeah, whoever was just complaining about like mods or anything in here, I, as I said last week, I 100% respect the judgment of my moderators if you get timed out if you get banned or whatever that's on you you obviously did something to deserve it so maybe next time don't do that but yeah alrighty squad well there you have it until next time be safe out there take it easy and peace out thank you gravit i appreciate y'all uh, yeah thank you for everyone that came in today too like uh christian fuck lou Grab it, Miss Gloria, uh, Frank, Erica, shit, who else was in this thing? Robert was in here, Melissa, K-Pro, CRA Audits was in here. Out and About Audits, oh, that's a new one, I'm gonna check that out. Y'allthebomb.com, I feel like it's the same people always watch my shit, and I love y'all for that. I couldn't be any more grateful, but yeah, y'all be safe, take it easy, and peace out.